what up you guys it has been a hot minute but it is your girl Liva back at it again with another video and today I really wanted to discuss my resin statue pre-orders so I wanted to make this video because the other day I was updating my my figure collection profile you know I was keeping it relevant keeping it up to date because i realized i had made a bunch of like pre-orders of chinese stuff and resin statues that like i hadn't logged and i realized that i have quite a few very interesting resin statue pre-orders that i thought you guys might be interested in seeing and i wanted to sit down and talk about them so that is what we are gonna do today now this video is not sponsored however i do have a discount code with we are anime collectors so if you watch this video and you decide that you want to buy a resin statue and support your girl's channel then feel free to use my discount code on all of your orders and all of your shipping you can get seven percent off of everything it's not a one-time use code you can use it infinite times and it really helps me out by like you know give me a little commission to support the channel but without further ado, let's get into these resin statue orders because I have a bunch and I'm really excited to talk about them. So first up on the list, we have this one fourth scale tuxedo mask statue that is created and produced by Gaka Box. So Gaka Box is not a Chinese resin statue studio, but rather he is a independent artist who creates anime statues and his Sailor Moon statues are pretty well known. Um, he produces them in really limited quantities and my friend shared this with me on Instagram, my friend Rachel B Lover, 2021 on TikTok. And I really love Sailor Moon. However, I feel like a lot of their official figures are very lacking and I feel like a lot of officially licensed stuff from the franchise just kind of like doesn't, you know, hit the mark, especially in terms of figures. So when I saw this one fourth scale tuxedo mask statue, I just like, I succumbed. I had to get it. It was a total impulse buy, but like I adore tuxedo mask. I think he's so fine. And I know that Kaka Box is very well known for very high quality work. So this one actually already arrived to my parents' house. Um, so I'm really excited to unbox him. Unboxing coming soon, but oh, he's so cool. Gaka Box is amazing. I like can't wait to tear into it. But moving forward with the Sailor Moon theme, I have one more Sailor Moon. I don't know if I would call it a resin statue, but a GK. And it is the Princess Jupiter Goddess form GK pre-painted version by Jeff Chian. So if you've never heard of Jeff Chian before, he creates these amazing garage kits. He's done um, Card Cactor Sakura and all of the inner senshis from Sailor Moon in their goddess forms, as well as a plethora of other really amazing Sailor Moon GKs. He's an independent Chinese artist and I love him. I'm a huge, huge fan and he sells his stuff very <laughs> limited as well. And if you watched my collection tour, then you know that I already actually have the Princess Mars GK of his pre-painted and built in my Detolfs, as well as the Princess Venus garage kit, unpainted, I need to paint it, but honestly, I underestimated how hard I thought it would be. So that is a project for like the future future. But I finally snagged another one of his creations, the Princess Jupiter pre-painted kit. Gosh, I can't talk. And I'm really excited to get it because I'm very, very fond of this series of his. I'm especially fond of the inner senshis, um, so I'm really hyped for this to come in. But I am sad because I discovered him a bit too late to the game, so I'll never have Mercury or Princess Serenity. Um, buying them aftermarket is like $1,500 unpainted kits like he, they're super expensive so i'll just like never get it but i'm really excited for this to come in it's already shipping to me so maybe i'll make a video but i'm not sure um because if i do make a video putting it together it's gonna be very janky and poor technique since it is pre-painted and i don't want people to roast me so i don't know if i will but even though i'm really sad because i'll never have princess mercury and Princess Serenity. Uh, I said Princess Mercury because it's like the goddess form. Um, I'm really excited for him to do the outer senshi so that I can get the Pluto kid. I think that's the final Jeff Chian goddess form I'll get because um, I don't really care about the other outer senshis, but like, ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm really excited. 
Ooh, it's gonna be so gorgeous. I can't wait. I love the like, I love them so much. Moving forward though, I decided to pick up this one six scale um, Tomie, I think is how you pronounce her name. Resin statue by Yolo Studio, um, Tomie. I hope to God I'm not like butchering her name. It is an original character by Junji Ito. She's pretty famous if you've never heard of her and i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one is definitely like a total impulse buy basically one day okay i was scrolling on my for you page on tiktok and it came up and i was like oh my god this bitch fucking slays and i'm a total poser because like i have not even read or like watched the content that she comes from but i'm gonna be honest sometimes you see a sleigh and you're like oh sleigh and then you need the sleigh so i bought her but in all seriousness, I do know a little bit about her story and I really like her like murdery bad bitch vibes. I think, oh God, if she doesn't murder people, I'm gonna look stupid. But I do really like the design of this character and I adore the statue. I think it's really Gorgina. So I'm really hyped to add her in as another spooky, creepy girl in my collection. You guys know when I got my Kaibutsu Shoujo Pelicanus one, I was like, I need more spooky, creepy girls. She hits the mark for sure. So I'm really hyped for it. Moving forward and moving into original character territory, I think the rest of the resin statues that I wanted to talk about are all original character resins. I don't know what it is with me, but recently I canceled a lot of my like Demon Slayer pre-orders and I just began picking up original character resins. Something in me snapped and I have gone insane, insane in the membrane buying original character resin statues, like original designs by resin statue studios. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but for, for me and for the way my tastes have been evolving, I feel like it's more worth it for me to get an original character resin statue than an unlicensed one. Uh, I'm not super picky about licensing, if we're being honest, if it's like from a major series as opposed to like stealing art. But I feel as though a lot of the times when I buy figures lately from characters from series that I'm like, I'm like, mm, I like this. However, I always end up wanting to sell it. But with my original characters, I don't because like I buy them purely for the design. So lately I've been really investing into these like original character resins and I've picked up quite a few from some very reputable studios. So let me stop rambling about why I'm buying original character resins and tell you which ones I've gotten. Starting off with these banger ones by Fairy Bean Studio. These two statues are the Plant Girl series statues by Fairy Bean Studio, specifically the Pinguicula Vulgaris Girl and the Nepenthes Girl. And I am not sure 100% if I pronounced that correctly, but that is what their names are. And their names obviously are inspired by the plants that they're modeled after. So it's pretty cool. So these two statues are by Fairy Bean Studio from the same series. And dare I say, Fairy Bean Studio is one of my favorite resin statue studios, if not my favorite. I really adore their creations. They're just my vibe. They make a lot of fantastical fairy tale themed resin statues and I am like a big fan of that genre. So when I saw this series, I was a bit late to the game in getting some of the ones that were earlier released, but I did manage to snag two of them. One which is already on the way to me, it is this one. And this other one, which is currently on pre-order. I'm really obsessed with these original characters. And from my research, I determined that this is a collaboration with a Chinese art artist who goes by Franer Wong. I couldn't find too much of their works, but this is very publicly advertised as a collaboration series with a Chinese artist. So I thought that was really cool. And like, I don't know, I love them. I'm really excited to get my first one. It's on a boat headed to my house. And there is one more girl in the series that I want to pre-order, this one right here. However, I lack the funds to do so. So we will see when I get her, cause I will get her. Unless you guys like sell her out, but after watching this video, I'll be mad if you do. So save the one for me. But moving forward with another original character, um, this is the one six scale Nekosume series, Saber. Original character design, black skin variant resin statue by IKEA Studio. And this girl is actually the first original character resin statue that I pre-ordered when I started pre-ordering my original character 
resins. So she's being made by IKEA Studio and IKEA Studio is known to be a very reputable and reliable studio. They've made quite a few licensed statues. If you look them up, you'll see a bunch of their licensed Naruto statues. But this one that I ordered is one of their original characters, so it's a bit cheaper than a licensed statue typically would be. But nonetheless, they're coming from a- it's a very reputable studio, so I'm pretty fairly confident that she'll come out looking gorgeous. And I just adore her. I think it's really cool that she has two different skin options, so you can go with the fair skin or you can go with the black skin variant. Um, but she was the first dark skin and the first original character resin I saw, and I just like- I went berserk. I don't know, okay? If you look at her, there's so many like tiny gorgeous details that like just look amazing. I'm really hyped to get her. I think her design is like stupendous. So I'm very, very hyped to see her in person and have her in my collection. Moving forward and discussing another gorgeous original character from another reputable studio. This is the Micro Monster Celestial Silkworm 1 4th skill statue by Gamma Studio. Gamma Studio does a lot of very gorgeous and licensed works. And this one is another collaboration piece with another Chinese artist, I want to say. I could be wrong. Uh, but when I saw Lep Studios post this on Instagram, ah, I went crazy. I don't know. Me? An original character resins. I'm obsessed with them. I don't have much to say about her other than I think I just like, I just, I love her. I mean, I love everything I ordered. I think she's really dreamy looking whilst also being very like cyberpunky, which I think is really cool. Um, but I am a little scared because she is one fourth skill and a resin and resin one fourth skills are very big. So I'm worried about how heavy she's going to be and where I'm going to put her. But if my inkling and my theory is correct is that I feel like she might be a smaller one fourth skill statue um, because she's supposed to be like, like a bug fairy girl, you know? So she could be like a small one fourth skill, which is what I'm hoping for. But where I ordered her from, speculative fiction, they did not have dimensions, so I have no idea. We'll find out in 2024. <laughs> but let's move into the final resin. And this one's a little sussy, okay? Uh, don't come for me. So this statue is the Your Little Octopodite Girl. One four skull statue by Mandala Studio. Um, don't judge me guys, okay? <laughs> um, but I saw this original character design of like this mutant octopi looking girl and i don't know what it is about her but i love her um and y'all know i'm a prude too so i'm very hypocritical for loving her but i do okay sorry sorry that i'm a prude and a hypocrite but i don't know i saw her and i thought the design was very dare i say avant-garde um she's very like funky and weird and like a little bit disturbing looking and i don't know why but it really appealed to me so honestly i don't mind being a hypocrite okay i'm a prude but also a hypocrite um but mandala studios is a new studio but what i heard through the grapevine is that although they are a new studio they're a new studio within a line a family of other reputable studios um so typically not typically actually. With some resin statues, they have like one big owner and then that owner owns multiple different studios and each different studio has like different themes and different vibes and a different name that fits those. Um, so even though this is a new studio, from what I heard, Mandala Studios is going to be pretty reliable because of who their owner is. And I'm not, I don't even know, like the, I don't know the owners, okay? I, I just know this information, um, but I'm not worried about her quality. And I think she's gonna be cool. And she's really tiny. She's supposed to be like, she, cause she's like, they show her next to the mini Coke can and she's smaller than that. So she's gonna be really little, like it's gonna be nice. Cause you can put it up anywhere and you don't have to worry about like, oh, where am I gonna put this resin? Anywhere girl. But that is all of my resin statue pre-orders. Um. I feel like I went fast today, but I wanted to keep it like nice and short and sweet. And I wanted to like show you guys these cool resin statues um, because I feel like there's not a lot of people out there who talk about original character designs of resins. And I, I, I don't know, I, I don't wanna sound like 
cocky, but I do feel like my tastes are pretty unique when it comes to resins. Don't don't yell at me. Don't be like don't yell at me if I'm wrong about that, okay? But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was entertaining. Let me know in the comments down below. Rich resin was your favorite and what kind of original character resin would you like to see? Because there's some that I'm like, mm, I would like this. Like, how can I make it happen? And I don't really have much for an outro, so I'm just gonna say bye.